Well, this is about uh, five minutes or less of work. Um, so I painted the um, house in rubble because I was able to go out and spray paint it pretty quick with relatively higher temperatures for a January. I need to be home during the middle of the day because we've had some great temperatures for that. But I used this Krylon Color Max Paint Primer Indoor black, Flat Black. It's very flat color. It's very interesting. But got that. Um, I don't mind doing the buildings in black because then the crevices and stuff will be shadowed. And then I base these guys. So I put some white glue, rubbed around the base, most of the base. And then I plastic glued the guys to the base. And then I dipped, put the base in this pot and put some, sorry about this. I should have planned right over this. Put some just sand on it. And so what I'll do is I will then um, spray paint that um, and then I can dry brush and add flock and all that stuff later. But this way I don't have to work around the guys with glue. I don't like doing that. So that was my hobbying for this day. Not much done in a very short time. So I, not 20 minutes, but I got to find some time to get this. I am going to put a coat of paint on all the guys. First round painting plan. Um, we'll see how this goes. So the Germans who are not wearing the smocks, I'm going to use this color here. It is a UK bronze green. I think it's the best one that looks like the German field gray that I have. I do have a dark gray that I bought. I also have a two standard grays and a color primer uniform gray. So that one, it says uniform gray, so I'm army painter, so maybe it's the right gray. I like the look of this, and then I can highlight in the field gray that I probably have. So that's my first plan. So I'm going to paint him and see how it turns out. The other Germans who have the big smocks, which are not blurry like that, that have the smocks, there's only four or five of them. I'm going to use this because that's the tan, because you can barely see pans, and then I'll paint those gray. And then the American paras are all the same. So I'm going to start with this color. It's a little gray. So this little splotch of green here is what Vallejo and Battlefront recommend in their book colors of war so i figure i'll do that i can wash it and then kind of highlight some things in that if i want to do that and that's that paint there so that's my plan oh and then for the uh half track use that it's a desert yellow but i'll wash it and i'll make it wash it out and then i'll uh what do you call it camo it all right well let's see um let's see how it goes i'm just going to paint i have not really done this before usually i just commit and spray them all I think I'll actually just test these out. And it's a cold day here, but it's fairly dry, so I'm going to give it a shot. It's not too cold, though. All right, we'll see you. The Krylon um, goes on a little thick. I mean, think about this. It's supposed to be used to do a boat or something, so you want it coming out pretty heavy. So you have to really be careful not to get it too thick. I think it's drying okay. We'll take a look after, after this. Uh, whoops, I forgot to turn on the camera, so it's already a lot yellow. So I'm just kind of touching up the spaces here. I really like the look of this color. So one thing I'm doing here that I shouldn't is you shouldn't start to spray on the model because it kind of spatters out. So I really should spray, start the spray off the model and then go to the splice that I want to spray. So it's hard to make it get that in that concise areas, but it's better because you don't get that splotchy paint. So that's something I should do differently.
All right, everybody. Well, here they are all together in a little lovely group. So, all right, so this is the German. Definitely see a difference in color here. This is like your, this green is really a traditional army green to me, like an army, army man green almost, but not too much, not like bright green, but the darker green. So I like the way this turned out. Um, this one, um, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty dark, but like I said, I'll wash it and then tone it down with the Panzer Grenadier, I hope. Um, this one is probably a little bright, but again, maybe when I wash it, it won't be too bad this smock and the areas that were too thick um, when I painted them they kind of it kind of uh, it's not thinned out I'm not sure what the word I'm not sure what it does you can't see his eyes um, and there's probably some fine details that were washed out a little bit with that with that paint um, but this one well this one didn't have a lot to cover but it was pretty thick on his back when I was done it doesn't look too bad right now so it'll be interesting to see you can still see their boot, boot, uh, the bottom of their boot, so it's just pretty cool, I think. Look at that. That's great. I should have washed them, uh, but I'm at my 20 minutes, so I wanted to kind of do 20 minutes and see. I actually was at, I think, 30 or something. But So I think those turned out good, and I really like the way this turned out. So again, this is more of a desert yellow, but I'll, whoops, I'll wash it, and we'll see what happens. Pretty decent. It was a little hard to get on the inside. You remember when I talked about spraying? But I like the way, so there's the bottom, and I'm not going to paint the bottom, sorry, people. Um, used to joke about that, I might paint that cable, but. but I got the important parts that you can see. So I guess I'll add a wash to that as well. Um, I always struggle how to add washes to the flat surfaces. Um, but I will definitely on this one. And I have a different kinds of washes too. I'll have to decide what I'm going to do there. So that'll probably be the next day. All right, so there. I'm pretty happy with the way those paints turned out. Turned out. Um, I'm going to reevaluate when I'm done, but we'll call it good. That's it. We'll see you the next uh, day. Bye. Remember, 20 minutes a day gets it done.